Hey everyone, oh, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm Rose Rob, aka Star Shadow. We're continuing our Sam Reno challenge. This challenge is to take the very small nation, or principality in this case, of Sam Reno all the way up to number one in the world. They start off at the very foot of the table, very foot of the rankings. And we have a long road ahead of us, as we also have to take a club based in San Marino all the way to Champions League glory. Uh, so in this universe, it's given a ton of money, we dumped it all into this defunct club that was based in San Marino and plays in the Italian pyramid. So that's why we are in uh, Serie C right now after getting promoted our first season. So uh, we pushed, we pushed ourselves to the top of the table here after coming off the. Uh, a little bit of a, a bad area here. Oh, what's up, Rick? How you doing? Uh, so we recovered a little bit. We had a couple friendlies to help get us back on track uh, in this slow period, but uh, we won three straight in the league, doing pretty well here. Uh, so made a little bit of a switch to a little tweak to the tactic here, because I've been saying this season that we're better than pretty much every team that we're playing. So we've been playing a counter-attacking uh, tactic and really we, sh we shouldn't be because we're, like I said, we're better than pretty much everyone here. So we're making a little tweak in order to do this. So you'll see that as we play. Uh, we're in the middle of the transfer window so we'll be uh, working on some transfers and such here but uh, got a game here against the uh, Vistabia coming up over get a chance to see this little tweak or so in action but uh, one of the reasons why we're saying that we're better than everyone else in this division is because we do have a couple of players that have a lot of talents that are playing or not playing as the case may be here uh Good, good, good. Oh, yep, yeah, we got some transfer signings that we out of contract signings we brought in. Decent youngsters, but nothing, nothing too special. Uh, sit alongside your new arrivals, but since I must feel a sense of excitement and pride. Yes, of course we are pleased. Uh, Kuiper, he's a goalkeeper, sort of player who can make a difference. Certainly hope so. Got a lot of potential. Uh, he's only 18. Is he one for the future? Yes. How much research did you and your staff put into this signing? A player who is a relative unknown. Well, I didn't know that. My scouts found him and thought he was great. So he's been, but he's been thoroughly scouted. We're quite, quite confident. Uh, Ashurtia has been linked with bigger teams. So it came as a surprise when Pulled off this deal. Do you think that he might see this move as a stepping stone? Well, we'll see. We're destined. He's definitely destined for big things, whether it's his club or somewhere else. We agree that this is something of a coup for San Marino, given the relative status of the player in the club. Uh, I think this is definitely evidence that we're making progress because we definitely need players that are good. Uh, some say he's taking a step backward. Do you think he'd find it easier to, to succeed? This is kind of sending his all hell. Uh, I think it says more about the project we're building here than anything else. How did the signing to Milger impact the club's short and long-term objectives? Part of the bigger picture, picture of course. Uh, what is the relationship? Uh, I don't know. We don't know anyone. Oh, yep, I got a soccer jersey in. This is a Everton kit. Everton is my team in the in the Premier League, so. Bought myself a, a jersey and so since I'm playing well a manager I feel like it's the appropriate shirt to be wearing but let's see so one of our best players is of course our I think it's called a football jersey in the metric system it's a it's a kit football kit I guess the, is the type of kit? No, the type of it's just a shirt. I think it's a 
So I guess technically I should say it's an Everton shirt. This is one of this from our first youth intake. Alessandro Mancini here. According to my uh, coaching, he said he's actually at a level above us, his talent level. So, and he's quite good. So, he is one of our big creative forces. So that makes sense. And surprisingly enough, from our most recent youth intake. Colomo Lodini is actually apparently at the top level, which really surprises me because, I mean, he's good, but I wouldn't have said that good, but, but so yes, we have talents. We have talent. Yes, we do. We have talents. How about you? So yeah, definitely. We should definitely be taking the game to our opponents. So we're going to start doing that. And we've started doing that. Yes. Uh, but yes, the problem right now is that we're trying to continue to increase the talent and trying to find players that want to come and join our project is very difficult as they we're starting to reach that limit of the talent that wants to join so we're having to go into the youth and develop players instead if we are able to win the title and get promoted i think we will attract some more another step up but if we don't we might be it could be a little bit a little bit difficult i think i already have a team swooping in trying to Trying to take my talent here and trying to rip us off. Hey, do not realize that we got tons of money. So you have to give us money. If you want our players, you have to give us money. Like actual money, not 5,000, 50,000. That's nothing. That is absolutely nothing. Yep. Uh, you gonna get? Up to keep an eye on. Uh, you want to try one of our best youth players? Um, no, let's try. Uh, you are offering thirty-four thousand for a youth project that's probably going to be worth twenty million in five years. No, uh, just come on, <laughs> come on now. insulting it's insulting to me it's insulting to the player it's insult insulting to everyone uh did we try are we trying to sign you no oh yes we also do have a our preview of the next youth intake which will be fun in two months about two months so we're gonna have a lot of fullbacks apparently and at least one of them is going to be pretty good. That's good. Can turn him into a wingback. And we have uh, one good young San Marinese striker, which is good. I think we need more strikers, but it's always good to have more good players. And can be yet another golden generation, which we like. But no defensive midfielders. No actual wingbacks. Center backs sound like they suck. Uh, the wide midfielders, which we don't care about, also suck. Uh, attacking midfielders suck. So our midfielders are going to all suck. So we have good fullbacks and a good striker coming in, which would be good. We, uh, we need center backs, though, to come through. That's, that's what we need. And for playing three at the back, we need definitely need center backs. Although wing backs are always good, too. What's the best defender on the team? The goalie, right? Maybe you need a dare to goalies. <laughs> uh, in this case, I think the best defender on our team has to be. Hmm. In our tactic, who who is actually the most important? I 
I want to say the middle center defender here is probably the most important because it does a lot of covering and has to be able to to both mark someone and also take care of anything uh, coming from the wings. So I would say he's probably the most important. Keeper is fairly important, but I mean, my keepers are supposed to be good and they give up shots from 30 yards out. So it doesn't make me happy. Uh, okay. Oh, I was gonna look at him. Sad. Uh, coming back, it's good. Players removed, okay. You any good? Good enough to look at. What about you? Eh, okay. And you. You look like you could be decent. Uh, Outriders are going pretty good. I am quite enjoying that. It's... Uh, it is... Uh, it's cool because you can change the difficulty on it. So I'm kind of riding right on that edge right now where it's, uh, it's a it's a challenge still without being too, too difficult. But I think if I were to go another step up, that'd probably be too much for me. Uh, also because my gear still kind of kind of sucks, but uh, it's been fun though. It's it's a cool game. I think really cool. Like I'm, I'm kind of surprised at how how cool it is. It'd be more cool with like more people to play with, but I mean, apparently they're having trouble with that aspect of it anyway. So it's like, well, <laughs> even if I could get some friends together to play it, I don't know if we would even be able to. <laughs> All right, so there. Say where it's evenly matched, but we're not evenly matched. Both of our teams get off a decent amount of shots, but we score more often. And, uh... Both don't give up many shots, and... We don't give up much of anything. Alright, that's good. Alright, cool. But uh, for Outriders, I think the uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that's to come still. Like, I'm only just, like scratching the surface. A lot of like the higher level stuff starts getting really cool apparently. So I'm not quite far enough yet. But the story is going places. It's like still kind of setting the stage for stuff. So I've heard, you know. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest story ever, but like it's a decent action story, which is cool. So I'm I'm very happy to see more of that. Uh, you're interesting. See. Apparently, eh, you kind of remind me of Victor Michelle, actually. No bravery, but you're really good technically. I didn't have 50 trillion strikers right now. Midfielder, nope, don't need you anymore. Potential to be a top level, I love you. You cost that much, and you probably don't want to come anyway. Also, you're a striker. You don't look any good. Scout you. Another striker. They're giving us scouts are finding nothing but strikers right now. Don't need 50 trillion strikers. I really don't. Bad.
Uh, you're not any good. Scouts are working overtime right now. Yeah, I'm just really happy that I'm getting a, a chance to, to really put in some time on my Series X. I haven't put as much time as I've wanted to into it, especially with Game Pass. Game Pass is so awesome. So, started playing more stuff on there. Started playing uh, NBA 2K21 as well, off stream. Just because I haven't played one of those in like five years, six years. So, I wanted to try it out again. And now that the... uh. The show is on Xbox. Oh man, I think I gotta get into that. Since I still don't have a PlayStation or PS5 at least. It was always one of the big Sony exclusives was the show. And I played baseball in high school, so do enjoy some a little bit of baseball here and there so I definitely gotta try that out and all of the, the EA stuff is on there now I'm starting to get on there now I haven't played NHL in a long time it's been five years of that I want to play that yeah there's a lot of stuff out there that's on game pass right now that I'm like man really want to play this stuff And like because I did the ultimate, uh, Game Pass Ultimate from converting gold into Game Pass. There's PC uh, Game Pass as well. So I, was, I played like Crusader Kings 3 and Gears of War 5. And um, Outer Worlds this is another one I've been playing. I need to get into again. I just scratched the surface of it. All right, so let's get ready for this. Keep our title hopes here afloat. We gotta keep, we gotta keep winning. We gotta keep winning. Okay, our man Pagliari here, posing coach, talking us up here. Well, would you agree he's performing at an unexpectedly high level? It's fair to say they're performing better? What? We're good. Okay, ultimately the results don't lie and they have to be treated as a very good side indeed. <laughs> Sounds like you could be up for, <laughs> up for more content. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's just cool, yeah, to have different different kinds of things uh, to, to stream, so. But yeah, that's why I was like, I, the next big thing I'm definitely going to do is Mass Effect, the Mass Effect remaster. So I'm super excited about that. Same guy? No. Cool. Uh, oh, you're coming in now. Nice. Good center back, solid center back. Potential, good. Damn. So yeah, he's, yeah, he's decent. He's pretty decent. Since we have some MLS teams trying to come in for one of my American Central defenders and making him unhappy, um, definitely got to get in on another center back that can possibly step in. You need some pace, man. Kind of slow. Kind of slow. Quick desk. Where's quick desk? Here it is. All right. Perfect. Well, we got another press conference. Great. Press love us. Uh, have you found any of Pagli Pagliari's recent comments about uh, what he perceives as your current overachievement patronizing? No, I think it's fine. We're apparently on good terms. So I took his comments in the complimentary way they were intended. But I would disagree that we are overachieving. We are very good. 
Uh, do you have an opinion on his preference for a patient possession game? Oh, I don't care. I care about what we do. Response suggests, seems to suggest an unwillingness. You asked me this like once a month and I'd say the same thing. Yeah, we're good enough that they have to adapt to us. All right, title changers, Bari are in action against the Sigli. And they will want a victory to keep up their hunt for the trophy. What do you make of their chances? I don't care. I care about my team. You all know this. We've been together for two and a half seasons now. No, I don't answer questions about things that are not my team. Uh, last time out against Palermo, your side played very well. Yes, we're hoping to keep this going. Transfer window is open. Thinking about your plans. What are your transfer plans? Uh, they're, uh, we are always looking for the right player. I'm not going to talk about it though, because that's what we do. How important has the strong team spirit been? Strong team spirit is always good. We're in a great place right now, working extremely hard to make sure that it keeps going. Defeat here, you could see San Marino lose top spot, so presumably you're stressing the importance of a good performance. Uh, yeah, good performance is always imperative regardless of what the fixture it is. Oh, it's, I don't care. Like I said, I don't care about anyone else. Victor Michelle is a real crowd favorite. He thinks his supporters back will help him maintain his player. Fans have been brilliant. Yes, and they better keep him going. That's one of our leading scorers. Would you agree that he's playing at the top of his game right now? No, actually, I would not. I think he can play even better, but I can't say that. Because they'll be mad. Uh, they're absolutely right to be praising him. It's a man who scored 30 goals last season for us. It's only got nine more than halfway through the season. He is not playing his best. Must be feeling the competition. Uh, youth. Youth. Uh, yeah, seaside. It's fine. I was actually thinking about playing something on the Switch again, but mm, wasn't anything. Oh, well, not until the new Mario Golf comes out. That'll probably be the next thing I play on my Switch. That's. One of the things I'm really looking forward to. Love me some Mario Golf. I had been thinking about playing Golf Story. Again. I really enjoyed it. Okay, everyone, y'all gotta keep up the good stuff. And if your training sucks, gotta knock it off. Praise the kids when they're doing good. Praise the kids. Since our team's average age is like 19. It might be 20. Yeah, I really should figure that out. I should do some calculations on that. Someone on the first team is older than 23. Mancini's like 17. Sonzini might be 17 too, actually. Ronaldini is 16, actually, I think. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, how old are you, Ronaldini? 16, yep. You're 19. Oh, you're older than I thought. You're 18. Uh, Rossi is also 17. Hey, 
19, he's 17. So we got a lot of kids out here. You're 19. You're older. You're 21. So yeah, we are a very young team. Very young team. Can't take them to the US and buy them a drink. Like at least three quarters of the team I couldn't buy a drink or in the US. Kind of funny. At least we're not to that point where we're paying these young players more than what I make currently. Although my coach is making a lot of money, which is nice. All right. All right, Sim, let's go. We're ready. We're ready for the next one. Uh, B team here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Gotta make sure we get all our kids playing as much as possible. I really wanted to bring him in. I I I gave I was giving, willing to give him more money and everything too. That hurts. That sucks. See, this is what I'm talking about. Thought we had enough to to get him. Oh, this is a good one though. This is a good pickup. Scottish center back. I told you, no. That's insulting. This is insulting. So bad. But these are in a contracts. This transfer offers are insulting. I wish I could send back something it says how insulting they are and we would not give them a deal even they brought a hundred million dollars with them that's how insulted we are by that oh i got another one too oh yeah Pretty, he's solid too. But they're in a contract. Like I said, since we can't bring in players that are at the level that we want to be a, to improve our team, we have to develop them. So we have all these youth to develop to be better than what we need. It's gonna take longer, but kind of have to do what you gotta do. All right, cool. Uh, da, 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 there you are. Fitness test. In five minutes, it's fine. You're mad because we rejected a deal that was insulting. Then we negotiated it for a little bit more and they went, no. Sorry, Cincinnati. It was not that much money. You can insult me with your bid. You could buy your whole freaking club, man. Uh, 
already. Alright, uh, so we are gonna hit these guys a little bit. Focus play down the left, of course. This is where the big change comes. Distribute a little bit shorter. Kick the line up higher. We won't up the mentality yet. Let's see how this runs a little bit first. Make sure we're grabbing the initiative before. Tick it up. Alright, go impress me people. Okay, you are not gonna impress me. That's beautiful. I got faith in you. Oh, it don't matter. Oh, stone cold. Stone cold there. Press. 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 Uh-huh. Your foot and weaker foot. All right. Uh, you asked me about this already. Don't care about Barry's game. Uh, how important do you think a team spirit is? Well, everyone's enjoying coming to work. It's a real fun place right now. Are you concerned that a defeat could see morale in the squad plummet? Dude, that's terrible. I don't think one loss can destroy this team's confidence though, because they're a close knit bunch. So we haven't lost to them in three meetings. Okay, that's good. They're hot right now. Three wins, two draws. Alrighty. Bam. I remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're pressing us a little bit here. Kind of interesting. Kind of. Do what you do. We're just go on a long little run. Nice ball. Shoot. Oh. It's on your weaker foot though. Good start, though. Good start. Take that guy, too. Yep. Oh, that's... That would have been a penalty if one of my defenders did that. Okay, we're dominating play right now. Come on. Come on, Doyle. What's that, man? I ain't that weak. Kick it. Come on. Wide. Wide left. Wide left. Okay. Oh, good ball. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I love the power on the shot. Great placement. That's wonderful. That... It's wonderful. Alright, we can play for set pieces a little bit. The crowd's into it. Ooh. Take it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. One more? Yeah, oh, a little glancing header there. That is, that is nice. Nice. That is nice. This is what we should be doing. Carving teams open. For some reason the board hates that we're doing this, but it 
just the way it goes sometimes. Okay, we can't give up a, a long shot like that. That's where they score their most on us. Can't have that. Might have to start pressing a little bit higher. Harder. Not pressing the center backs though. Back on side, there we go. Now, oh, uh, where's the cross? Look at Baldo. Oh, we're dominating possession right now, too. I don't really see the need to tick it up here. It's a good half. That's a good half. I like it. More. We got even better in the locker. I know it. I know it. Basically, just play that half again and can't be can't be unhappy. I gave up one shot. That one from long way. Can't be too too disappointed on that. They're trying to clog the middle now, apparently. That's why we normally play wide through our wing backs. Okay. Close them down then. Time for some substitutions in the middle. Uh, who do we want to throw in as the attacker? Sonzini. Throw Kunian as well. Uh, we'll soon think about taking out the wing backs, or at least one of them. But not quite yet. Shore up that defense a little bit. It's not the ball we needed there. I wouldn't call this a hip hop tune, even though it's on the hip hop stream beats playlist. Ball. Oh my, and Nate's on side. Oh. Ho, ho. Wow. Wow. That's the kind of goal we were scoring all the time on the counter. I enjoyed that immensely. Alright. Uh, Let's give some minutes to... See, it's certainly hip. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's kind of uh, I, I, it was reminding me of something, and now I can't think of what it, what exactly it is that it's reminding me of. Uh, Schmetteron. We'll tech down there right now. Actually, it reminds me of a late show. Like something I would hear on one of the late shows. This 
swap sides here. Do, do, do. Well, they're starting to create a little bit, but nothing that's highlight worthy. We're definitely the only ones creating anything worth looking at. That is good. That is good, Curses Beer. That was quite good. Good job, guys. That is wonderful. That's what we call a title winning performance. Do you keep that up? Winning this title. If you don't, we're not. No pressure. Zero pressure. That has to be a satisfying win for you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Nicodemo. How great is it that you can state the obvious to me? Played very well. Oh, no, actually, let's go even better. It was a terrific performance. We were excellent in every area and at times looked unstoppable. Hopefully, it doesn't give him too big of a head. Yes, that was that was great. That's exactly what we should see against a, a team like that. Yep. Oh man, Pecliari is very upset with his team. He also made them look really bad. Good job scoring, man. Keep it up. All right, what a. What we got from Radio San Marino, El Centro Cachi. Uh, Pagliari has suggested that complacency from his side was the cause of your good result today, and implied that the same applies for a number of your other recent opponents. Is it fair to say teams haven't taken you seriously? Huh? Huh? No. It's entitled to his opinion, but I don't agree with it. We're in this position on merit, because we're good. Uh, you managed to extend the press run over Juvistabia. How do you feel about this particular record? It's only the fans and the media that care. We just want to beat every team that we play against. How was Peschini's form? His complete game. Very much helped the team. He needs to keep playing like that. Costellus is unsettled and was left out of the team today. What does his future hold? Well, he was in the team. He just didn't play because he's been hurt. It's up to him now. If he wants to play for us, he has to display the right attitude and commitment. Well, he's probably going to play because he's good, but he was coming off an injury. That's why he didn't play. That's the main reason why he didn't play, not because MLS teams are coming in and insulting us with their bids. I swear, media, always trying to stir things up. That's what they're good at. I don't care about our affiliate team, they're not any good either. Not even sure that they could beat us, even though they're in the Belgian top division. We're in the Italian third division. That's okay. That's okay. Of course, we could actually probably buy that affiliate team if we really, really wanted to. Got enough money. I think we're up to 150 million in the bank right now. Uh, finances. 
Uh, 136 million. Okay, not quite. Not quite. Uh, yeah, because you're not going to buy them, so get off us. You're okay, but you're probably not good enough to ever play for us, so keep an eye on you. Yep, we're definitely much better. Oh, the bidding has got to start at... Uh, 3.5 billion. Because he's from our youth that intake. But he's San Marinese. That drives up the price. Because you want to hold on to him. Uh, okay, break. You have a good night. Hope I helped get you in that mood to sleep. <laughs> you have a good one, man. Always good to see you. Yeah. So come back. Come. Come with the money. Bring the money trucks to the gates. Have them start dumping money and then we can talk. Probably need at least three trucks full of, of money. Uh, dollars or euros, whichever you're going to pay in. Because uh, a suitcase is not going to work. Does not hold enough. Skadish, also good. Till after the season, we find out that our talent has improved again and he is just okay. But that's okay. Do not mind. Could we open up some spaces in the B and C team? After the season anyway, with the number of contracts being, uh, not extended. <laughs> Nothing like some ASMR soccer. <laughs> yeah, we're going, man. Uh. Yeah, I would like to keep as many of these San Marinese players in our squad as we can, at least for a little while. I mean, if we're not moving up, I can understand trying to move on, but you know, we can keep them until you're in their twenties. That's early twenties. That, that would be, that'd be nice. Unless of course we do make it to the top division, in which case, you know, that would be great. Goal bonus. Yeah, helps. <laughs> I think I got that in my pocket in this universe. Oh yeah, he's fickle and fickle personality is I'm finding out not fun. Cause Costellus is fickle. And that's why he's unhappy. While the people the kids from our youth intake are tend to be much better. Mancini is a model professional. Monaldini, I think, is as well. It helps explain why they're developing so well. So yeah, that is the future of the San Marinese team looks bright coming up. So in like five years, I think we'll be able to start working in that nation, that national team as well, and start getting them moving up. Yes, this is what I want. I want them to go up. It's close. Yeah, it's mostly because you were a striker that I was like, eh. I 
Oh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, tactical. Personally, I like to have everything going on at once. So, defense, defense. Attack, attack. Uh, actually, let's go do one on one. So I don't think we've trained that recently. And let's add set piece delivery. Actually, I think we will add distribution. And delivery there. Perfect. Uh, Riti and Segli, I think both lower tables, so we should be able to attack them and score and not worry about this. But as we've seen other matches, you're not always the best at this. Right. Segli's here. It's here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lower. Lower teams. We're moving up in goal. Gold differential finally. I can move this back up too. Let's look. Uh, we are fourth best now in gold scored. While still being the top defense. Thumbs up. Oh wow, we're not the worst attendance anymore? Amazing. That's awesome. Yay us. Yellow cards. Fifth worst though. That is our, our nemesis. Yellow card. Team likes to follow, what can I say? It's not usually how my teams play, but this team likes to get in and dirty. Luckily, we haven't had any red cards yet this season, which is good. That season we had two, I believe. Again, not something where I'm used to having on my squads, but in this case, you know, it happens. Beat him. Ah, he's listed. That's why he's not uh, in the contract. Uh, oh, he is not in the contract too, actually. I can. Let's look at this. Competitive streaky. It's not a problem. It's consistent, which is good. For some reason, oh, we could, we could. But he's, he, oh, he's 19. He needs a lot of work here. Yeah, that's... It's 19. He probably could do it, but... Mm, I don't know. Oh, you're a striker, that's right. But somehow gloss over the fact that he's a striker as I'm just looking at the attributes. So why do I look at the social media even a little bit? Because that is one of the ways I actually find players. There's basically two ways we, we find players. Our scouts, and then uh, that's like 90% of the way we find players and the other 10% is uh, social media sometimes they point out a player that apparently we're in for or we were looking at or something so I check them out and see if we want to scout them uh, we actually picked up one of our uh, best strikers that way uh, we got linked with him in social media I was like who the heck is that guy and looked and he looked pretty decent we didn't 
didn't get a chance to get a scout in, so I bought him sight and scene. He ended up being pretty good, so, uh, yeah. So actually, it's probably like 5% that we find on social media. But, uh, still like to just take a look and make sure there's no one just hiding in there. One of our youth and takers. Great potential. Starting to get up there. He's a winger though, and it means he plays wing back now. Actually, that's not bad. Concentration is not that good though. So, uh, yeah, he's almost ready for some first team action. We're actually pretty strong right now, right wing back. Well, I wouldn't say strong, but we're got some some depth in uh, the backup spot with the uh, Urbanati from our youth intake. He's solid. Uh, Luigi from our uh, youth intake last year. He's solid too. And then. Uh, Cultieri there, he's uh, growing into a wing back. And then of course our captain Piscini, who was from our, I guess, B side? Our B club youth intake or free agency or something? I don't know. Uh, he had to be retrained from central midfield, but he's been pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. so that's a uh, yeah, solid right wing back. Be nice to find like a superstar there, or at least for a superstar for a level. But like I said we've been having trouble finding players above our talent level that want to come in and play. Even though we got money, it just they're like, "Yeah, you're not. You can't meet my my needs. Your rep sucks." I'm like, well, you know, you're already playing for a like a pro side and they suck but we're good you don't want to play for us okay man okay man yeah didn't know Silvo another striker though Oh, uh, another scouting uh, here. Uh, no. Too old. Our club culture is designed under 21 and under, so we're sticking to that. Uh, so with the team the way it is we are uh, we do have some leeway to kind of uh, scout for personalities so I'm checking if there's like a model professional or professional or anything like that uh, personality that someone I'll jump on no matter what they are as long as their potential is good but other than that we're just looking for players that Look like they could be good. No. No. Yeah, I don't think you no. I don't think you could develop enough to be useful to us. Comes across particularly spineless. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> is that what would wow <laughs> I didn't know there's a, there's a personality that was spineless holy wow <laughs> that's pretty hilarious I mean he's not bad uh, his concentration sucks but good teamwork good work rate no athleticism whatsoever I've We'll keep an eye on him for a little bit. See, and see how he turns out. But that's <laughs> that's hilarious. Another Ford. Oh, look at that! Oh, wow. Yeah, I 
I honestly didn't think he would be any good, but he surprised me. Yeah, I don't need yet another striker. Nope. And goalkeeper, either. Resolute, that's good. But you're a striker, so I don't have... Oh, man, look at that, though. But you see, we got tons and tons of strikers that are decent. And developing. Oh, man. Very interesting, though. Very interesting. Harabasing center back. Definitely, definitely promising. Very brave. That's good. Balanced. Been tempted. I don't like this extremely doubtful, though. Got a decent work rate, decent positioning, doesn't head very well yet. Got and his pace kind of sucks, but the bravery is good. A lot of a lot of stuff to like here. He's volatile though. Yes. Uh, you yeah. Are not good enough for us. And you're not really special. Iceland steer mission. Uh, you're not actually that good though. Another striker. Yet another striker. And the midfielder. Oh, he that's right. He doesn't want to come because he's decent. Actually, it's not the guy I was thinking of, but he is decent. Close contest between two evenly matched teams, and we're not evenly matched. We are definitely better than this team. Defense is not good. Offense isn't bad, though. They don't get a lot of shots, but they, they convert pretty well. Uh, Metioni. Okay, you're... Oh, you got some potential. Want to make sure that you are uh, someone we actually care about. And I could have looked right here, and I didn't. So you're developing. Keep it up. They said Urbanati's are back up here. 17 year old from one of our youth intakes. He's pretty solid. Not a star or anything, but. As a backup. Okay, you're developing a bit then. Uh, you're not going to reach your potential, are you? You're 23. Been good, though. You've been good this year. Okay, you'd finally moved back up to Serie B talent. So we start scoring like it. You're up to good like a pro, even though you're dropping in all your attributes for some reason. Supposed to be fairly ambitious, but you are not developing like that. Uh, I'm ready. See, he's good. Oh, his potential dropped. Looked like you were good when we sent you.
looked like you were good when we signed you. How sad. Sad, 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 sad. Sad, 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 sad. A little sad? A little sad. Sometimes I think I should put more leagues on view only. And then other times I'm like, eh. It's more fun. When I find that super wonder kid in what I'm trying to think about leagues I have Hong Kong or India. Those are those leagues that are loaded? Are those actual leagues? He is a top division player, which means he does not want to come. Uh, I thought we scouted him. How have we not scouted him? We got scout report, don't we? No. Okay, let's scout him then. I don't know why we haven't scouted him. I probably because we know he's not going to come, but still. But yeah, so we have every top division running in every country that's in the game. Why? Like I said, because it's what we do. It's what we do. And I mean playable, not just view only. I mean playable. Uh, yeah, if you want him because he's... Not as good as I thought he was going to be either. Sad. Yeah, why don't you guys do this and take him off my hands for nothing but... Uh, percentage of next sale. No, 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 I don't really care. We don't want a technical director because they all suck. You got to be really, really good for me to want to take you on. Okay. He thinks he, he believes he's not good enough to ever be a regular player. All right, well, Captain, take care of this. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. What's up, dude? You seemed a bit down. I think my time in the club has come to an end. I'm not up to the standard to play regularly here. Yeah, you are. I think it's time for you to find a new challenge. Uh, you're getting plenty of time. Oh, you're also fickle. No wonder why. That's why. I can't do that one because he's not professional enough. He's not going to care. He'll go, hee hee hee, no. All right, well, we'll, we'll try this one. I appreciate you coming to talk to me, but as far as I'm aware, there aren't any clubs interested in you in the minute, so it seems a bit pointless discussing it. It's not going to cut it. Uh, dude. If no one likes you, then you're not going anywhere. All right, uh, let's go if we get a reasonable bid. How much? Uh, you will go for 15. No, 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 no. I could be as, just as fickle and say, no, it's not, it's not up to you to decide. <laughs> uh... Fine, we'll do 65. No, 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 no. I'll say 250. That's way too high. 
Oh, wait, well then, fine. Uh, you're mad, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna pound the fist at him and say, yeah, actually, I've changed my mind. I got no intention of letting you leave. You, you insulted me by trying to come in on this, so screw you. Should have just said no in the first place if you weren't gonna sell me. I just told you what I was gonna sell you for, and you said no, so too bad. I don't understand these these people. I don't understand you. It's, this is why you don't mess with the fickle personality. Because they they don't they don't make sense. They don't make sense. So I gave you, I, that was perfectly reasonable. Now you're crying. Stop crying. That's why you don't play because you're crying. Oh, uh, virus. Uh, he's a club doctor. Stop crying. This is why I'm trying to bring in center backs because these center backs are crying. They're crying. Perfectly reasonable to expect some money back for this. I developed you. I developed you. If I didn't have also 50 trillion goalkeepers, I would definitely be like, oh, actually, you're rushing out kind of. Eccentricity is nothing, though. Uh, you're not. Uh. Scouts don't like them, though. Uh, nothing here. Oh, the competitive streak is the only thing that makes me go, eh. I swear, kids these days. These zoomers, zoomers, you don't know how to how to negotiate. Uh, you're not good. I don't really care, dude. Look, you're, I don't care. I'll talk to him again. All right. Why isn't he playing left back? Well, then do it. Left back or wing back, it doesn't matter to me. Just, is he playing? Yes, that's good. Stop getting, getting all your pennies on all in a bunch just because you're not playing exactly. Actually, Velasco, the reason why you're not playing is because you form dropped considerably after we started you in the first few matches and you're playing well and all of a sudden the next couple you're playing like crap. So it's like, okay, you lost your spot. You're playing better, you'd get more playing time. Okay, picked up his his play and he's playing now. He wasn't gonna see the pitch ever. Now he is. Now he's starting. What you gotta do. The one who should be upset is Breck Evans because he played 80% uh, of the matches last season. Now he's not playing. Also because his performances have been terrible, but still. Yeah, I'd. I'd uh, to 25? I don't know. I have to look at that. I tried offer a, a professional contract and he was like, oh, I want to be a regular starter. Just because you're starting regularly on the C team does not mean you're a regular starter for the senior team. It's completely different. 100% completely different.
So you will wait a little bit longer then. See if we can both drop a little bit. Your contract's gonna run out pretty soon. Uh, 25. If you want to keep an eye on you though. Oh, Cooney's injured. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, uh, which backup am I gonna bring up? Okay, who are my target men? You're not a target man. Sandoval? You're a target man, you? Uh, yes, you are. And an advance forward. Oh, you're pretty good, actually. Concentration six. Plays with back to goal. Yeah, you're a target. Six four? Yeah, you're a target man. Uh, Tyler Freeman. Nope. Uh, Ellington, you're not a target man, are you? Poacher. Got some nice finishing on him. Jamaican. Right, so. You're making a team. It looks like you're making a debut pretty soon. Congratulations. Uh, you're out for six or seven days. We'll bring someone in. I'm waiting for these fickle defenders to be all like, oh, we, we changed our mind. They were fickle. Driven, which is good, but I oh, want the left that second help us. Uh, but Figlio, hey, guess what? We had him and we sold him. We sold him. He actually was not improving and was not scoring. How is he doing for them? He has not scored for their team either. Scored in, uh, guessing for their B side or under 21, whatever it is. But he's not scoring for them either. So, it was no big loss for us in the end. I was surprised people came in. Uh, uh, willing to pay for him. Honestly, I thought they would come for Victor Michelle first, but they did not. Let me just look at you. Oh, from Niger. You're too old for us, though. You're not bad, though. Sorry, my man. Potential to be a top division player. I like it. Oh my god, he wants how much money? What? What? I mean, we could pay it, and not that big of a deal, but... Man, that would seriously throw off our... Our wage... Well... The wage structure right now. 
That is ridiculous. Like a hundred thousand, I might have been like, okay. Four hundred thousand? No, sir. No, sir. Ugh. All right, I'm starting to tire out. Tire out. It's hoping to get in another match, but this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. So, yeah. So I'm gonna end it here, even though we're pretty close at this point. I guess I'm tired. I gotta work tomorrow. That's f so I got got a lot of work to do on Friday. So that's gonna be a bit of a long day. So I am, of course, right now I am off on Fridays. So I'll be eventually adding something again. I think. Uh, I don't really have much Legos to to really do, which is why I haven't been uh, streaming that. But let me find something else to add. Uh. So we'll see. Eventually, we'll add something again. So Saturday we'll be back. Star Traders in the afternoon. Then we'll be doing multiplayer of Valheim at night again. That should be fun. But last time was crazy, crazy fun. So yeah, you should definitely check out that VOD. That, that was fun. And uh, we'll be back again to do that. Uh, Sunday and Monday we'll be doing Outriders again. Uh, weekend after this, uh, I will be out. So, uh, those streams will be missing. So that's, uh, basically, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Friday night would be out too, but we're not, I don't, I, it's, it's, I haven't been streaming yet. Uh, doesn't matter. But, uh, next week's, uh, full manager stream should go ahead. Uh, we may not be able to make as much progress in the meantime because of that weekend, but we shall see. Um. But yeah, we'll keep pushing, keep pushing. So yeah, thanks for hanging out, watching. I uh, think it's as much done as we want, but we saw some of the transfer coming in, some of the scouting we're doing, and got to talk a little bit about like tactics and such, and also how we handle fickle personalities in that we, in the end, tell them to go screw themselves. So, yep, so like I said, uh, thank y'all for hanging out and watching if you're enjoying the content here on Twitch, drop a follow, hit that notification button, and come hang out again. Always appreciate that. Uh, you can follow us on social media, at Streams by Star on Twitter, exclamation point Twitter in the chat, we'll get you that, get you that link. Uh, you can uh, catch our YouTube, actually. Uh, with the command exclamation point yt exclamation point yt uh, get you so that'll get you to uh, like I said the YouTube page you got uh, a lot of videos a lot of playthroughs the archives of this so if you miss anything you want to catch up there we also have uh, from FM 20 I did World Cup 2022 there actually that's what I should have done here to, uh, so let's do a quick look at that because I didn't, I didn't do that. I meant to do that. But yeah, so you guys, you can like, comment, subscribe, share all that stuff there on the YouTube page. And we include a link to the Twitch and the Twitter in the description. And we'll just do a quick little review. Germany one. Do a quick uh, look at the groups here uh weak group here turkey and uruguay got through surprisingly tricky tricky took top of that one netherlands and france here nigeria actually outbattled brazil over the top of sea portugal missed out on the knockouts as did ireland uh denmark germany denmark finishing on top that's kind of surprising but colombia not making it uh the u.s fell choked switzerland and belgium you see some very surprising group winners here. Croatia and Spain again. That's another surprising one. Japan misses out. Burkina Faso misses out. England, Chile, Mexico. Too very terrible. I, I'm very surprised by that. Italy, Argentina. Uh, Ghana and South Korea did not play well. So let's look at the... 
want to look at the tree actually. So here's our tree. Uh, Deladent beat Ur Uruguay in the first round of knockouts. Germany over Nigeria. Spain in extra time over Switzerland. Italy takes out Chile. Turkey on penalties beats France. Brazil out in the first round of the knockouts. 5-1 to one to Denmark. Wow. Belgium 4-3 over Croatia. Argentina in penalties over England. I guess that's not surprising. England losing penalty shootout. All right, quarters, Germany over the Dutch. Spanish over the Italians. Turkey over Denmark. Turkey into a semifinal. And Argentina in extra time over Belgium. Semis, Germany 4 0 over Spain. And Argentina wins 3 2 over Turkey. Germany beating Argentina 2 1 in the final. I think Turkey actually won the third place game. No, Spain beat Turkey. So that was the World Cup. Just a quick little review of that. Uh, now a quick little look see. Leading scores uh, Murata and Tara Martinez. Uh, it's probably like I could probably look up like the Golden Boot and stuff like that, but that's good enough, right? Alright, so there we go. So that was the World Cup. So I just wanted to get that in before I forgot. So it's a little look see at how the 2022 World Cup went. Uh, hopefully, I remember next time that it comes up to, to have a look. And one season, hopefully, in the future, hopefully, in like maybe in the three World Cups, maybe we can get San Marino in there. Maybe, maybe trickle them in. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah, like I said. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, stay well out there. Stay safe. Hope to see you next time.